So Rec Room just added a brand new feature that's honestly pretty cool. And I think it is one of the best features we've probably had in a little while. Now you're probably wondering, Fire God, what is this new feature Rec Room added? It is a new feature that you can find in your watch right here in Backpack. Not everyone will have this. It is a split test right now. So hopefully at some point soon, they release it to everyone. On your backpack, you will see this like little pug <laughs> sticking out of the backpack. I find that funny. It's cool and it says new on it. If you have that, that means that you have the game. So what you want to do is you press backpack right here. They added a new tab called games right in between tools and skins. And if you press it, you see this. This is a game called hot picks. And it's basically just would you rather, but a little different. I'll show you what I mean. So what you want to do is you want to go into your watch and on your watch, let me go ahead and show you. You want to press start. And then after you press that, it spawns the game in hot picks which tastes best and then you got two choices and what you want to do you want to raise your hand like this or you want to raise your other hand and it just switches between them like this and you can just spam your hands up and down like this <laughs> i don't know why i find that funny i just do and then after whichever one gets the most votes out of whoever's playing it wins and i did test something with my friend jetpack we tested to see if it will automatically pick a random one or if it favors the person that spawns it in we tested it and we found out that it is completely randomized if the two options tied so if like two people choose one option two people choose the other option it'll just completely randomly choose which one would win and thankfully it doesn't favor like whoever just spawns in the thing speaking of spawning you can only spawn this thing in once one person at a time can spawn this in i'll go ahead and invite someone here that has it so i can show you how it works so i got a uh, cuttlefish here with me he's gonna help me demonstrate to you guys that you can't really spawn in two of them and that you also kind of can't really just spawn in another one while another one is going on so cuttlefish just spawned one in now i'm gonna press start you can't see it but it gives me text on my screen that says cannot start game another game is currently running oh if you're the one who spawns it in it replaces it huh i didn't even know you could do that either <laughs> i didn't know about that i want to show them the whole thing of not being able to spawn it in at the exact same time like if we both time it it does make a weird audio glitch though Whenever it does it, you hear it like spawn in twice. Spawn it in in three, two, one, go. Now we gotta wait for it to go away to try that again. One, go. It didn't do the audio glitch. I wonder if they fixed that or not. All right, well, basically the whole point, you can't spawn in more than one. You can only one person can spawn one in at a time. Now, the main thing that sucks with this is let's say you're in a big open hangout room and you have people on one side of the map that are wanting to play the game and people on the other side of the map that are also wanting to play the game. You can't have two separate groups of people spawn one in across the map. I'm assuming it's because maybe with something with the coding will probably like mess up the other game or it's because since you have to raise up your hands anyone in the room that raises up their hand from across the map it activates the thing so I'm assuming that's also why you can't really have two people spawn it in. Is there a range limit? You want to test it out real quick? I'll spawn one in I won't vote just so that it picks your thing so raise up your right hand okay so whatever the right hand option is I'll go all the way down here and I'll spawn it in so I'm gonna go all the way down here cuddle's gonna stand like all the way down there where he's at and i'm gonna stand over here and we're gonna see if it works or not there we go i i spawned it in now cuddle's gonna raise his right hand all the way down there and we'll see if it chooses feet good option select it didn't select like if you're far away all right here i'll i'll test it here you spawn it in you spawn it in i'm gonna go far over here all right yeah i can't see the ui i'm gonna raise up my right hand all right now we're gonna walk towards it oh yeah it doesn't select okay never mind i thought it did if that's how that works then why not be able to spawn multiple games at once wait yeah that's true wait that's a good point if you can't it's vote not, for it's... that game if it's far away from you why can't more than one be spawned in in a room does quest 2 lag like a lot if they can do that did they like test that out did they do like lag that's testing weird. on it rec room needs to do tests on more things. I guess this is why they do it on split tests. You have the range limit. Why not just uh -huh. have like a five game per room? going at once but they also have to be a certain distance apart oh uh, yeah you can only spawn it in whenever you can't see the menu to the other one probably like however yeah. far you have to be to not see the 
UI for the other game that's near you. I'm just hoping at some point they make it to where we can spawn in more than one because that would be very useful because I don't want to have to go across the map to whoever else has it and play it over there when I could just play it yeah. on the other side of the map with whoever I'm talking with and we can spawn it in. But I guess it's also to try to get like the whole lobby together and start a conversation or whatever. So we have one game right now, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's one per room because we'd be able to spawn multiple different games at once? Just not one of the same game? That's kind of what I was wondering. If there were to add multiple games, could you spawn in a separate game and then the uh, the hot picks one? Because if they're two separate games, they wouldn't mix with each other's code as long as they don't have the arm raise up thing. And yet again, the whole thing with not being able to see the menu from afar and not being able to interact yeah. with it from afar. But that also brings me into the next thing I did want to talk about for this video what other games could they add to this that would work because hot picks is a would you rather thing where you have to raise your hand left and right and it has a menu on it for players to interact with truth or dare. so if you're <laughs> truth or dare dude that'd be funny if they had that on there they should have a truth or dare game one thing that i did think of though for a game they could do on there is a dice roll thing and it spawns in a floating dice that's just floating in the air like a floating like 20 sided dice and it's just a random dice you could just spawn in anywhere so like you could make challenges out of that especially since they took the dice they took the, they took the dice out of like the rec center and there's no more dice in there so it would be really cool if you just like for games, there's just a dice there. You spawn it in. It's just like floating in the air and it just spins and then it just randomly lands on a number. Another game that I think they could do as well, other than that dice one I was talking about, is a mini basketball hoop that you can spawn in, like a miniature basketball hoop. It spawns in a little basketball like right in front of you and a mini basketball hoop. And you have to make a certain amount of hoops before the timer goes out. Like there's a little timer on it and you have to make a certain amount of points and see how many points you can get before the timer goes out that'd be pretty cool if they score. did that yeah you could have like a high score and the high score saves like on your spawnable thing now another game that i also kind of thought of other than the basketball shooting one the dice one is uh like you said truth or dare would be pretty cool i don't know what questions they do for that but i'm guessing for truth or dare they do somewhere like something with like rec room related questions for some like truth things or whatever like have you joined a rec room military or something like that or random stuff i don't know another Another thing they could probably do that I thought about is checkers or chess. Like a chess board or checkerboard spawns in and you can play checkers with people. But what they could do, because I know they'll uh, probably think about like other people being able to sabotage your game that you're playing, like people being able to grab the props or whatever that spawns out of the game you're playing. What they could do, what I've seen inventions do and stuff is they use the interaction volume where you have to actually click the squares to move the uh, pieces. They could do something like that. There's like, it spawns in two little seats in front of like a small table with a checkered board on it. And it tracks those players that sat on those seats. And those are the specific players that can only play the game. I think if they did it that way, it would help. At D&D to Rec Room. Yeah, at D&D to Rec Room. Dude, Rec Room D&D with like the Rec Room AI and stuff. That would be so good. One thing, here's another thing that they could do on the games tab. And if they don't do it for games tab, they could make a new tab called the toys tab and have toys that you can spawn in. Like you could spawn in that like little RC car thing. You could drive it around and stuff. Maybe you could spawn in like a plush, like that bat plush or whatever. They could have definitely not a microphone. That would be terrible. That'd be funny though. What else? I don't know. That would be funny, but there's a lot of reasons why they probably wouldn't do that. Uh, Like a ping pong ball you could spawn in probably. A toys yeah, tab would be pretty things. epic. Yeah, just like things that you could just play with as like a toy or whatever. Nothing like too serious, like a gun or whatever. They could have like a confetti gun in there yeah. probably, but like little toys that are in like the maker pen props. Imagine they have like a, a spawnable mini golf thing. Like it spawns in a hole like in front of you, but like decently far in front of you or something like that. Or like make its own right. randomized like little course thing with like a grass, like a little grass like path thing. That would be pretty cool if they did that as well. But there's like many ideas I have for like the different games they could do and stuff. But then you'll also got to take into consideration that Rec Room's not a super polished game and they have lots of bugs yeah. and stuff and lag for certain devices and um 
I don't know, like performance and stuff and anything else that could mess everything up. Yeah, other than that, these games could be pretty good and fun with like a group of people or even by yourself just as things to do, which is I think what they're trying to do, just give you things to do in rooms. That's why this tab exists in the first place. But that's basically my ideas on how this will work and how the game works. Log on to Rec Room to see if you have this because it is a split test and not everyone will have it, but at least log on open your watch to see if you have this. And again, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you are not subscribed, I do recommend subscribing to help me eventually reach the big 3k. And if we do hit 3k, I will end up doing the 24 hour live stream and the next Q&A video. And also make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be notified for whenever I go live or for whenever I upload another video or a YouTube short. And apparently you do also get notifications for community posts. But anyways, thank you for watching the video. Like the video, subscribe, go check if you have this new thing because it is pretty cool. And Rec Room, please add more games that are pretty fun and make it to where we can spawn in more than one in a room. Bye bye.